everybody, it's Anna, and today I'm going to talk about the proper way to remove your cuticle. And as you see, there are several tools of the trade here, and what I'm going to do is talk about which ones are good and which ones you should absolutely stay away from. So let's get started. Okay, I am going to start off with the very, very worst tool you can ever, ever use. Um, this tool should never ever be used. Personally, I'm not exactly sure why they sell it. Um, they sell it as a cuticle remover, but the thing is that the cuticle is the dead skin on your nail plate. It is not this tight band of skin. So to do, to clip this is a huge, huge no-no because these are so sharp that they will take live skin with it. Um, it does not matter how tight or perfect you get in there, um, it's just gonna take away too much skin. So this big, big, big no-no. Okay, the next tool is an orange wood stick and this is very, very helpful. Um, I tend to not like it to use to remove cuticle because um, since it has a pointed edge, it's very easy to scratch yourself and to um, not push it nicely. Um, so that one is, I tend to prefer to use it to when I'm taking, when I get too much polish on my nails, to go ahead and on the sides, go like this. That's when I tend to use it, which would hence be why the other side is very dirty. Okay. My next tools, this one and this one. And the difference between the two is that one is for babies, this one, and then this is your normal, typical um, nail clippers. So I do use these to actually clip my nails and make them shorter. I do it in three short cuts. I go one, two, and three. So the first cut you want to do is cut up at an angle. If you cut straight across, that is going to make it fracture right there at an angle, and you're going to end up having it break over here when you meant to have it cut. So I cut this way, one, two, and three. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. That's good for the big ones, but for getting that skin, because I am a perfectionist picker, and I'm trying to find some since I usually clip it away, but um, these little bitty pieces of skin that get right there and they get in on the sides, and I am one that if I get one, I will sit there and pick at it and pick at it, and I will make it um, bleed and get infected. Um, so what I do is I pull the skin away, and then I will get in there with these teeny, teeny nippers and cut just that dead piece of skin, that skin that is no longer attached. And that is what I cut. That is the only thing I cut um, in terms of anything near my skin. Okay, and the next tool that is my favorite is this cuticle remover. And I like it because it has two different size scoops. Um, this is the larger side and then this is the smaller side. So I like this one because of the different sizes of my nail. So when I'm removing the cuticle, what you're actually wanting to do is make it so that the cuticle remover is exactly the same as the plane of your nail. You can tip it slightly so that you can remove that cuticle that is on your nail plate, but, um, and you don't want to get, do it this way, this is very, very bad because what you're going to do is you're going to dig into your nail plate cells and you're actually going to lift them and cause them to shred and be fuzzy and you'll hate it. So you want to make sure that when you're using the tool, you're using it as flat as possible against the nail plate. You want it just to slide across, okay? And then I like the small one because you can see my pinky is so much smaller. So that one works great on my pinky as you can see. Okay. The next tool um, is called a curette and it has two little cups on the end. One is larger and one is a lot smaller. And what these are for is since the cuticle is the dead skin on the nail plate, 
It's for using to come around and you turn it sideways and you scoop up the dead skin that is on the nail plate. Okay. Um, also, another way to do it is to very, very gently pull the, the cuticle skin off this way. I personally don't like it um, only because it, um, for me, it didn't seem to make all that much difference on my natural nail. Now, I was taught this by um, the gal who is fingernail, Holly, um, who is fingernail fixer. And um, she uses this, of course, to make sure that all of that cuticle is gone on the nail plate so that she can do gel or acrylic. And that is very, very important. But for me, um, I'm just doing normal nail polish. It's not important at all. Okay. Next is the Sally Hansen cuticle remover. This is my favorite one because it is a gel. And what it does is it comes out really nice and thick. Okay, and you can control where it's going. Um, I've used Blue Cross and because it's so watery, um, I don't really like it because it gets on your skin. And the biggest problem with cuticle removers is that the skin dissolving properties uh, is lye. And it's also labeled as caustic potash. Um, there's another name I don't remember. But if they get on your skin, it doesn't matter whether they get on your nail plate or on your live skin. And a lot of times you'll see people do this all the way around because what they're trying to do is remove the proximal fold. Well, that's not the cuticle. So the very worst thing you can do is put this on your skin. Okay, so we are gonna get started in removing the cuticle because Nail polish does not stick to skin, and since the cuticle is the dead skin that's on your nail plate, we want to remove all of that dead skin that is on the nail plate. But first what you want to do is actually separate the proximal fold, which is this layer of skin right around the edge that everybody thinks is their cuticle. This is actually the proximal fold of the eponychium, and it is a guardian seal against the nail plate, which keeps germs and bacteria out of the matrix area, which is back here. And this is where your new nail cells are produced. Okay, so what I've done is I, you can see I've actually let this proximal fold get stretched out. Um, and so this is why people say, oh, you should push back your cuticles. And that is true. Um, except you're actually pushing back the proximal fold. And the reason is because, let's see if I can show you. So since the eponychium is back here, and this is the proximal fold of the eponychium, um, underneath the eponychium, as the nail is growing, it is ripped, the nail plate is so bonded to the bottom layer of that eponychium that it literally rips out the bottom layer of skin and that is what's attached to your nail plate. It's also attached to the proximal fold and will stretch it out. And so then when you push that back, that skin is all stretched out and then it dries out. And then people wanna come in with these, which is huge and hugely, hugely no-no. And they come in and they cut this live skin. Drives me nuts because then you're opening up this entire area to infection. And you will see that on a lot of bloggers' images when you see all of this skin through here is um, swollen and red and inflamed, and you won't see that nice tight band of skin. And that's what we really wanna see, cause that's, that's healthy nails. Okay, so what I wanna do is show you how I push back the proximal fold, which then releases it from the cuticle so that skin stays nice and tight. So the way I usually do it is I'm not pushing down on my nail plate, I'm just pushing back. And as you can see, there's a bunch of skin happening there and that is the cuticle being released from the proximal fold. So I made, I did this on purpose. I let them grow, which drove me nuts, but I knew I needed to show you guys this, especially this one, because this part is getting stretched out. So I push back with my nail and I'm not pushing down. 
I am only pushing back. And I like to do it with my fingernail because then I can um, feel how hard I'm pushing down and make sure that I'm not hurting myself. Because if you push down too much, you're going to damage what's going on here in the matrix. And then you're gonna get these white spots. And those are just bruises that come across. That's all they are, okay? For those of you who do not have nail tips to be able to do it, you again can use this tool where you're very, 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 very gently pushing it back and you're releasing the proximal fold from the eponychium so it stays nice and tight, okay? So you can do it very, very gently. I am just sliding back, sliding back and forth, barely, barely touching the nail plate, okay? It's that easy. And then, since now we have all this dead skin on our nail plate, which is the cuticle, so now what we want to do is remove that dead skin. So I am going to apply my liquid latex. The next product that I really love, and of course I'm slightly biased because I created it, but um, this is called Simply Peel Latex Barrier. And I created it because of that problem with the cuticle removers if they get on your skin. And so what you're doing with the, um, the latex is you're actually going to be protecting your skin all the way around before you do your cuticle remover. And this is the reason that I created this product. I wanted to be able to protect your skin or my skin actually, and then I knew that you guys would love it, but I wanted to protect the skin from the damaging and skin dissolving properties of cuticle remover. Okay, you know you're dry when you're all sparkly, but you do not have to wait for it to completely dry. So the next step is to apply that cuticle remover, and the very first time that you do it, you want to apply the cuticle remover to your entire nail plate. And the reason is you will be shocked at how much skin is actually on your entire nail plate the first time you do this. So I know that I have, since I do this regularly, I know that I don't have to go all the way up. But I will show you guys. Okay, now we're going to sit and let that munch on the dead skin that is on your nail plate. Okay, now it's time to remove the cuticle. And what I want you to notice too is that, remember the uh, um, Simply Peel latex barrier was completely dry? It's starting to turn white again. And that's because of the liquid in the cuticle remover. Totally okay. And see, that's showing you what cuticle remover actually would be getting on your skin and eating it away. So this is why I created Simply Peel. Okay, so you can also see like here, I've got some bubbles going on. That shows that it's actually munching on that cuticle. So here we go. Remember I talked about just sliding the, nail, sliding the tool against the nail plate? That's what you're gonna see me do. And the great thing about the, the Sally Hansen cuticle remover is that you can actually see what I'm gonna show you, <laughs> which is fantastic. Um, Okay, so we're gonna slide against the nail plate and you're gonna get some resistance too. Um, it, as you're sliding and you're feeling that skin that's on the nail plate and you just gently wanna scrape that back, okay? And then what I like to do is use the side of the scoop to actually go around and pull up all of that dead skin. And you can see that the whitish stuff, that's the cuticle. And so that's why I love this product, just to show you, to demonstrate. That is the cuticle that we are scraping off the nail plate. That is the stuff that makes it hard for polish to stick to it. And that would be why you get a lot of chipping back here at the cuticle line. Make sense? And so you're gonna stop right where you feel that resistance where there's that connection between the eponychium, the bottom of the eponychium, and the proximal fold, and all of that together. You do not want to push back where 
back farther than where you can feel that resistance. Otherwise, you break that seal and you make it so that germs and bacteria can get under there. So, see how much lye has gotten on my skin? Pretty interesting, isn't it? So now we're gonna go through, scrape up what you can, but very gently, you don't wanna be scratching into the nail plate. And then what I do is I wipe everything off. So I know we love to see Simply Peel do that. And sometimes you get to, but sometimes it wipes right off with the paper towel. And so I just wipe all of that off. You wanna go that direction, okay? Rub a little bit right around that proximal fold to get the last little bit of um, cuticle remover. And you can already see that the nail plate is much cleaner and that the polish will definitely stick. And I will do another one just to show you and how you can see. So the cuticle for me, since I have been putting it off for several weeks so I could show you guys, the cuticle for me has gone all the way up to there. And so I gently, gently, gently push back. See all that cuticle that's on that tool? It's crazy. Okay, and then I scoop. Wipe that off on paper towel because it gets kind of gross. And you carefully, the cuticle seems to like to disappear. Like down in here, it's very hard to get at, but just very, very gently, you're just pushing that along. So I tend to get a lot of cuticle down here that wants to get missed, but you can see it. You can just see it coming up off the nail plate. So that's why we remove it. Okay, then we're gonna wipe all that off. The latex may go with us. If not, it just, it reminds me of glue, white, remember when we were in school and we put white glue on our hands and um, waited for it to dry and then peel off? Anyway, <laughs> fond memories. So again, the cuticle is all the way up to here since I put it off for several weeks for you guys. See all that cuticle? Is that insane? It's just crazy. Okay, now I'm gonna flip that tool over and do this side. Okay, so I've got cuticle there. And then when I scoop it, you get more cuticle. So normally for the salon industry, they go in with a curette after that, and they're gonna get in there really, really tightly with this tool and scoop out that last little bit of skin. And they may scrape it a little bit like this, but they do it very gently. And so for me, that last little bit, it's not a big deal because I'm using polish and I'm staying away from my skin anyway. I tend to take my polish right up to that edge. So for me, it's not a big deal if there's teeny tiny bit of cuticle still there. And then, you know, you just wipe it all off. Just like that. Okay, so those nails are just about ready for base coat. What I would do is actually, you wanna get that last little bit of cuticle remover off. I would go rinse my hands real quickly in warm water. And then you dry those real nicely and you are ready for base coat. Hey, it's Anna. I've written over 70 nail care articles that you can find at nailcarehq.com. And if you're looking for products that will help you have longer, stronger nails, visit myblisskiss.com. Be sure to push the subscribe button and turn on notifications to get alerted when I publish more videos. This is Anna, signing off, 
and sending you bliss. Bye.